Buddhist Inspirations. When we fall on the ground, it hurts us, but we also need to rely on the ground to get back up. This mind and body is our household. If this inner household is not in order, no outer household can be in order. All the faults of our mind, our selfishness, ignorance, anger, attachment, guilt, and other disturbing thoughts are temporary, not permanent and everlasting. And since the cause of our suffering, our disturbing thoughts and obscurations is temporary, our suffering is also temporary. Attachment is the mind stuck to an object. Whatever is not yours, abandon it. When you have abandoned it, that will lead to your welfare and happiness. One who seeks delight in form, seeks delight in suffering. One who seeks delight in suffering, I say, is not freed from suffering. Contrary to what some people might believe, there is nothing wrong with having pleasures and enjoyments. What is wrong is the confused way we grasp onto these pleasures, turning them from a source of happiness into a source of pain and dissatisfaction. Realizing for ourselves that the power to achieve contentment comes from within requires an understanding of how our thinking process controls our behaviors and thereby our results. There is no pleasure without some degree of pain. There is no pain without some amount of pleasure. Within the limitations of the human form, we can't understand the nature of existence from the universal position of an all-seeing God. With the macrocosmic view, what we can do is observe existence close up without judgment. When everything is clean, clear in your own mind, nobody can create obstacles for you. Do not underestimate your ability. The more we reflect on old age and death, the more we see it as a natural process. It is nothing extraordinary. If we prepare ourselves in this way, then when such events actually happen, the work of accepting them as a very normal part of our life is already done. We can simply think, now is the period where my life's end is coming. I think that is a better approach. You can only have bliss if you don't chase it. If we can reach the understanding of what we actually are, there is no better remedy for eliminating all suffering. This is the heart of all spiritual practices.